What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ian Campbell and today I'm going to be discussing bodyboard specific exercises that you guys can do at home. So for the past couple weeks, we have all been in lockdown and a lot of you have come to me and said that you are in need of some home exercises and specifically to help your bodyboarding when you get back into the water. So today I want to take you through six different exercises that I personally feel are the best exercises that you can do at home while we are stuck in lockdown. So these exercises are a range of very different movements that will help throughout the body and especially when we look at bodyboard specific exercises. Now what I want to take you guys through is different variations of these movements that you can do to either make it easier for yourself or make it harder for yourself. It just depends what your level is and really what you want to do and how fit and healthy you want to be. So the different exercise material that I have that we are going to use today is as follows. So to start it off we have a skipping rope, we have resistance bands, we then have a yoga mat, a pair of uh, heavier dumbbells, a kettlebell and then a set of lighter dumbbells. So today I'm going to take you through these six exercises first by showing you where the muscle group will be working on the bodyboard and then I'm going to show you the exercise and how to make it harder or easier. You guys can use a skipping rope in between these exercises if you want to make it something like a high intensity interval training. Otherwise you can just do these exercises to your max as many times as you can do them. So let's get into it. A great way to get your cardio up is to skip. Now one of the things that I suggested at the start was that you skip in between exercises. This is going to raise your heart rate and allow you to get a real good cardio session in while you're doing these exercises. This will be great for your paddling and your strength in the water and endurance when you are surfing. So the first exercise that we are going to be starting with is push-ups. Now push-ups is a great way to build shoulder strength as well as do some chest and abs. Now this is really important when we are bodyboarding. You want to keep those shoulders strong in order to take the impacts that we get from landing the bigger moves, as well as for paddling and for generally holding onto the board. And remember, if you are a drop knee rider, this will be very beneficial for you as you are always pushing up to get up onto drop knee. So the next exercise we'll look at is commandos. Now commandos basically does a full upper body strength, working your shoulders, your triceps, your bicep, chest and core. So this would be the best exercise to do consistently and get better and better at it to get stable on the bodyboard and get all those muscles working as a tight knit group. All that goes forever until the trip sets a stage. It's hard, harder than ever. The next exercise is I'm sure one that everyone knows and that is the plank. Now the plank we are going to use to help really stabilize the core, work on the shoulders a little bit more and really help you get your legs in the water and get them stable. Especially if you guys are going to be getting onto bigger waves, this is a really important exercise to keeping your core really tight and keeping the stability on the board as best as you can. So the next exercise we're going to look at is the Russian twist. Now Russian twist generally target the core as well as your obliques, which is this muscle on the side. Now this is really important when you're doing spin moves or any rotation where you want to keep your core tight as well as use your arms and your full top half of your body. Now these are important to keep that stability and will help you with any back pain that you have and help to alleviate that back pain over a period of time. Goes 
squats. This is a really important exercise and one that I think everyone should be doing. The reason for this is it targets your glutes, your hamstrings and your quads. Now these are the very important muscles that you need when you're kicking onto waves. Specifically when you're getting onto bigger waves and when you're riding it helps to stabilize the back half of your body. Now the lunge is the last exercise that I want to discuss with you guys today. Specifically for keeping the lower back stronger and allowing you to last a lot longer when you are surfing. Now the lunge targets your hamstring, your glute and your quad once again and is a really functional exercise that will help to alleviate back pain. This specifically will strengthen all those muscles around your lower back and allow you to last in the water for a lot longer as well as to be able to get rid of that back pain that you were once struggling with. So guys, those are six exercises that you can all do at home to better stabilize yourself and your body and get yourself moving in this downtime. Now these exercises I've shown you a bunch of different variations that you can do either with bands or weights or dumbbells and you can even use a 5 liter water bottle at home. Just fill it up with water and you have a big enough weight to use especially on the leg exercises. I'd really appreciate it if you guys tag me in those videos that you're putting up on Instagram and let me know how these help you when you go down the line and get out of this lockdown. Thanks so much for watching today's video and if you like these videos give it a thumbs up and please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can get notified first when these videos come out. I'll see you guys in the next video.